call me Mr. Van. My first name is Van. My last name is Thornton. I'm the band director here. I've been here for six months. I got here in July, seven months. And uh, we, the band is going great. We're doing lots of great things. Uh, this year, we're going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, to the Smoky Mountain Music Festival. Next year, we're going to New York City. So we'll start probably as soon as we select out the group for next year, we'll start raising money for New York the year after this one. Okay? So uh, that's what we do. We, we have uh, two concert band classes. We have a jazz band class. We have a, uh, an ensemble class. Uh, and I also direct a show choir with a rock band kind of thing, doing a little modern music, kind of like the lead without all the glamour. And uh, you can also audition for that actually your freshman year. Um, and uh, we have like one of the top jazz band fans in the nation right now, today. We keep, keep it that way. What I expect is, is I expect you, if you join this band and become part of this group, I expect you to do a great job and be good every day. You don't get in and just sit down, okay? You get in, you keep working. There's expectations for your playing all the time. You are a band major if you join, if you come in the band program as a band major, then you're treated like a band major. Uh, you, you have to do solo and ensemble every year. You have to play a solo for your parents and for a group. You have to play in small groups and ensembles. You have to perform with the concert band. And if you get to that point, 11th or 12th grade year, you can play with a jazz band. Any instrument can play with a jazz band, but you have to learn how to play a jazz band instrument, which is sax, trumpet, trombone. I have a lot of kids that don't instruments that play two, flute, sax. All my jazz band members have to play flute and clarinet, as well as saxophone. All the saxes, all the woodwinds in the jazz band have played three instruments. Okay, that's a rule. So I have great expectations for you. And uh, I, what we offer in each year, I break it down to freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. As a freshman coming in, you're going to take music theory, and you're going to take a band class. Probably going to be what we call an intermediate band, all right, for most of you. The sophomores, uh, they can take a band class, and uh, sometimes they can take an ensemble class. Uh, what that is is just individual practice. And I have percussion players during that time. We have four practice rooms back here. We have practice room there, a practice room up there. Groups will go in and work on solos and ensembles while I work with percussion players in here. And our percussion players do percussion ensembles. If I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, in your junior year, if you're good enough, you get to go to the advanced band, which is our top group. And uh, you can audition for jazz band, and in your senior year, same thing, as well as ensemble class. So when you get to be a senior, I've got students that take four band classes. It can happen, all right? Any questions about that? Y'all quiet. Are y'all's parents coming in here? No? No, they're staying downstairs. All right, we have rules. And I put in, in quotes because they're not like, don't you dumb. They're big rules. I call them big rules. Big rules are be teachable. That means you come in here with an attitude that you can learn, and you can learn from me. All right? And I can learn from you. We learn from each other. So that's our whole thing. Our mantra, our firm is be teachable. Have a teachable attitude. Matter of fact, one of the students said to me this morning, Mr. Thornton, are you going to tell them about be teachable? Very important. You might think that's a silly thing. But it's kind of like love one another. It's a big rule that covers a bunch of stuff. So if I'm teachable, I'm going to have my instrument, right? I'm going to be on time, right? I'm probably not going to chew gum unless it doesn't bother my instrument. Uh, I'm probably not going to be disruptive. I'm probably not going to talk. I'm probably going to be in part of the class, you know, and do what I'm supposed to do. That's what teachable means. You have to practice, okay? On Fridays, I listen to people play, and yesterday, two girls who are seniors, juniors, lost their chairs because they didn't practice. It's as simple as that. I go down the line. I don't do practice reports because parents lie. You 
got that on YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. That's why I don't do practice reports. I got a practice report. Every time you walk in my band room, I get a practice report. I go, oh, you didn't practice that, did you? No, no. Same way I can tell you if you take, don't take a bath. You stick, right? All right. You are accountable to me. That's one of your rules, and you're accountable to each other. Everybody pulls their way. Everybody does their part. See how everything's organized in here? Students do that. I don't do that. All right? Rehearsals and performance are part of the deal. If you can't come to rehearsals and performances, you're not going to pass my class. You're going to fail. And if you fail my class, you're going to have to get out of the bank room. And that means go back to your home school. You don't change majors. Don't pass code. Nobody wants a failing band student in another major. Promise. All right? We have a website. It's called charmsoffice.com. Uh, and you've got this, I think, written somewhere on your sheet. And you can go check it out, charmsoffice.com. Um, and our code is SAA band. If you want to write that down for more pictures, or if you've got a pen, you want to write that down, that'll be cool. You can kind of check that. It's not a website, it's more of a place we go to get information. Okay? It's not like a true band website, it's an organizational thing. When you get accepted into the band program, you'll be given a charms code. You can go on. And you can put in your information and your parents' name, your address, and all that kind of stuff. I'll actually have that in for you. And uh, then you'll start getting what we, our communications. We'll talk about that in a minute. Any questions about the rules? The rules are very simple. Be teachable. If you can remember that from your files. All right? What I expect from you, again, going back to this, is attendance. That's very important. You come to all the rehearsals and all the performances. There's not that many. Especially after school rehearsals, we just don't have a whole lot. Right now, I'm in those right now. And if the you know, students have to come. And it doesn't matter if you've got a basketball game or not, or football, or we don't have football. Or basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to practice at home, and you do that on smart music. How many of you have smart music? All right. Great. You do that on smartmusic.com. You practice at your house. I can tell when you practice. You'll submit your stuff to me. I'll listen to it, recordings of you playing. I might give you suggestions. I might do nothing. Okay? Uh, school events. Uh, when we have a band school event, that's important, obviously. But I also require two for you to attend two concerts or performances outside of school of another group. Okay? Once in a while, I'll let it be a school thing, but most of the time it's professional for college level. I want you to see other performers do their thing. Savannah Symphony would be one. Okay. Uh, you must audition for all district band. How many of you have auditioned for all district band before? You haven't. There's no guitar audition. Okay. Everybody must audition for that. How many of you made all district? Good. Everybody must audition. That's a bottom line requirement for everybody. All right. And of course, all the time, right equipment, best attitude. All right? Good. What you expect from me? I'm going to communicate through emails, phone calls. I text people. Okay? Uh, I have a charms, has, my little charms office program has an iPhone app, and I can text the entire man and say, I'm sick this morning. I won't have band practice this afternoon. So you won't get to school and go, God, I have to call. Oh, no, you'll know before you leave. All right? Newsletter uh, 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 that we call band notes. I do parent conferences if things get bad. I'll confer with you first. And then I have a thing called the top five, which is uh, every week it comes out in an email and I hand it out at, at the door. There, you saw how the music stand was? There's a music stand down. That's our storage room. And I'll show you the room in a little while. Um, and there's a music stand out there and there's little handouts that go on that. You grab them. Accountability group, fairness, and open the door. I'm accountable to you. Okay? I have students that will say, Mr. Thornton, you're not doing a good job of this. Of course, what I usually do to them is say, well, why don't you do it? <coughs> right? Here? House? Okay. All right. I know why you're here, right? You're worried about the audition. Okay? So we're going to go over the audition. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got three musicians. Come on up, Sean. 
Sean, would you go turn those lights on on the other side of the room so they can see Aaron without him having to move? Okay, and we're going to go through this audition with you instrument by instrument. We've got three. We've got a brass, a blue wind, and a percussion. All right? So the first thing is an interview. And I'm going to ask you lots of things. I'll say, what school did you go to? You know? Tell me about what you like. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? I just talk to you. I'll be in my office right there. And I'll just talk to you. It'll be relaxed, calm, no pressure. Okay? There's no pressure. I don't want you to think this interview is going to keep you out of getting in this band. It, uh, I got a girl right now in my band that can't talk. Seriously, she's a senior. She says, am I right? She walks in my office and does like this. And I say, yes, honey, what you want? And she goes, Oh, yeah. I go, okay, that's fine. She says nothing. She mumbles. Okay? Interview's not going to stop you from being in this band program. If you're a good player, you're coming in. I have to do the interview as part of the deal, and I like to. I want to get to know you a little bit. All right? I have three things I'm going to ask you. Number one, what, what are you going to bring to Savannah Arts Academy? And it's just a point of interest. I don't care if you say my lunch. I don't care. All right? <laughs> No wrong answers. I will respect that. Uh, you know, the only wrong answer would be nothing. Okay? What do you expect from the Savannah Arts Academy? Again, the only wrong answer would be nothing or I don't really want to go to Savannah Arts. Then I would say, well, I'm going to help you not go to Savannah Arts. Okay? okay? So... Uh, number three, how does your major fit with your long-term goal? Again, no wrong answer, including I don't have a long-term goal, but I would like to blah, blah, blah. Okay? I just want to see how you think this works out. All right? No trick questions. No wrong answers. Except, well, yeah. Except that. And even then, I'll take that. That's your That's fine. I'm going to probably give you 20 points on your interview. Uh, I just go ahead and I can't say I will give everybody 20 points on your interview, but I probably will. If you look at the point breakdown that's on your sheet, it tells you about that. So the interview is 20 points. That's a free 20. All right? The next thing is scales, and that's what we're going to demonstrate today. GMEA, for those of you who tried out for district band, it's the same scales, F, B flat, E flat, and A flat. You play them as fast, as good as you can, and as fast as you can correctly. Okay? So, Sean, are you warmed up? No? Can you play an F concert scale for the people? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. Okay. 
okay? And we'll do some averaging and all that kind of stuff. All right. If you get five fours, four fours, and one five, you might get all, all eights on there. Alright? Any questions? Yes, sir. So you require the arpeggio with the scale? Yes. And do you play the scale with smart music? No. You play that just like you just did. We're going to do, we got some smart music coming in a second. So, Alright? Play them a uh, B flat scale, please, sir.
Southwest. Woo! In the house. Savannah Christian. Charles Ellis. All right, Bartlett. Who's your band director? Mr. Hicks. Yeah, big tall guy. Yeah. All right. Good. So, the next thing you have to do is you have to play something that you prepared. It can be an A2, which is a French word that means study. How many of you work with the GMEA All-State A2 this year? That works. Okay? Any study or any song. I don't care what it is. Does it matter? No. Anything you work on that shows me the best you got. Alright, so I asked uh, Sean, do you have something? You want to play your A2? Mary Allison and Sean are going to, he didn't have to work up one because he didn't do one for All-State. But drummers do have to work up something. It can be a snare drum piece, or a mouthpiece, or a timpani piece. I don't care. Just something that you worked up. Yeah. So with the A2, will we have to do the whole sheet? Like on you, uh, that, it can be any, and you can be any part of it. Okay. So, no. Okay. You don't have to do the Allstate sheet. Okay. You can do something else. You can do something from Lord of the Rings. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Any. Any. Now, if you create it and it's not very good, you know, it's not going to help. All right? I'm not going to say it's going to hurt you. But, you know. Yeah. All right, Mary Alice, show me stuff. Okay. Yeah. $36 a year, smartmusic.com. 
36 bucks a year. Can't beat it. And it's got literally tens of thousands of pieces of music on it that you can play. And whole books of Cypress. And we'll use one. And we won't use the harp. It won't be that hard to be used. Okay? Any questions about Cypress? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to actually use. So if you go through all those books, you'll probably have Cypress before. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. All right? So that, there is that there are spark reading. There, I'll show you in a minute exactly how it works. Uh, percussion have to do four rudiments. They long roll, flam accent, paradiddle, and student's choice. They have to be, be played open, closed, open. Aaron's going to demonstrate whichever one you like, Aaron. Open, closed, open. Mm -hmm. long roll. All right, long roll. So it gives me 25 seconds to look at it, or 30 seconds to look at it. The tempo, I know it's going to be slow because it says 72 beats a minute. If you've got a metronome, you can check the tempo before you look at it. As soon as it stops, it's going to go click, 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 and then I play. Thank uh you. -huh. 
Lord, we're going to give you an easy one. Just like that one. Uh, they're yeah, hard. Yeah, go to 10. They're real hard. Go to uh, 10. <laughs> Sean, which book are you, did you work out of this year? We can do level four. I'm going to make Sean do this. Come here, Sean. I told him to pick one. I ain't going to do that. All right. Man, this is, uh, uh, Mary Reed, come up here today. I call her Mary Reed. No, come on, Mary Reed. I'm going to let you sit down. I've never heard of her. Mary and Allison. Mary Reed. All right, here we go. Ready? Tempo. Same tempo. I can tell by right there where it says tempo, it says 72. So if you've got an iPhone or a smartphone, you get your little cheap metronome or go on the internet. And you figure that before you get started, you need that. But if you don't, it's good. Yeah. So about right there. Ooh, cut time. Oh, it's a cut time. <laughs> 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 da, da, da. Level 10 looks nasty. Um, that's the end of the YouTube video. Um, you got any questions, give me a call uh, at Savannah Arts Academy or you can email me at van.thornton at sccpss.com. All right, y'all get the phone. Y'all get here.